Welcome back to another video, you guys. It's your boy Brian Felix here. I'm just trying to get my hat straight real quick, but this video, I'm gonna just record my day, just record what I'm doing today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I mean, there's not really much to it. There's no real like concept or a how-to or anything like that. I'm gonna just take you guys along with me today and kind of just show you guys as much as possible on, I guess, the behind the scenes and stuff like that. So right now it's actually 8 41 i'm leaving a little bit later than i expected for my first client uh we have a 15 minute drive 15 minute drive we'll be there by 8 56 thankfully so we're gonna go ahead and head off to the first client i believe we have a ford raptor and then we're gonna go ahead and do a toyota uh highlander or something like that and then we'll be done for the day so it's gonna rain the rest of the week so that's why i'm recording right now it's actually tuesday and i actually decided you know let me go ahead and pick up the camera record some content just so i have some video to upload for the week because if it's raining all the rest of the week then i'm not going to be able to detail if i can't detail i can't make detailed videos man so like i said uh yeah so i have i'm gonna show you guys what i'm using right and don't try to like look through my notifications and stuff so behind the scenes so i have GoDaddy smart line app right this right here is where i keep all my contacts um it gives you a phone it gives you a phone number that you can use you know and i link that through my website through my google my business account and stuff like that i don't use my personal phone number because i like to separate my personal because it's just important my phone is not blowing up for my personal and not everybody has my number so i like my privacy I decided to download GoDaddy on my uh, phone here and I paid 10 bucks a month. And I mean, it's worth it to me. $10 a month for another phone line, basically. You can call, text, send videos, send pictures, send videos. I said that already. But that's one of the things that I use on a daily basis. It's GoDaddy. Um, and I have a bunch of clients and stuff like here. I don't wanna show y'all, but I have a lot of clients I save people's numbers and it's just a lot easier for me to know like okay this is for clients and I'm not like mixing up my personal messages or phone calls with my business right and then I also use I also use the uh, jobber app right now it's actually updated so it has like some snow effects because I guess it's winter time Christmas whatever and this is what I use there I use that so I use those two apps the majority of the time so i'm gonna go ahead and click on the jobber app for y'all just show y'all a little sneak peek hopefully don't show y'all the address now i'm actually not gonna show y'all anything like that but right here we have the uh the app hopefully y'all can see so i have the app I, I had to go on the computer and add all this stuff in there just so you know we know what we're doing for the for the service so this is actually going to be the first client here now I'm in control of everything, so I can choose to increase the price, lower the price, stuff like that. Once I'm done, I just click the mark complete right there, and then I could generate the invoice and stuff like that. Or if I want to time myself with the detail, I could put start timer. You can also choose to go ahead and clock in through here and kind of just have your employees and stuff like that. Just keep track of what their, uh, what their hours are. You know, that's what I used to do with Victor when he was with me. We used to both just clock in and just kind of like take track of our time through there. So, about to head off, put on my AirPods, listen to a podcast, and just try to get in the right positive mind frame for the day. I hit the gym earlier this morning. Me and my girlfriend, we usually go to the morning. I mean, to work out in the morning around 6 a.m. So, that's already done. All finished up. And the van is beating it because I don't have my seatbelt, so I'll catch you guys once we get to the detail, man. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning, Phil. How's it going, brother? Everything's good. How about you? Sir, happy to hear. Happy to hear. Happy to hear. Happy holidays. Nice, nice. Got the Ford Raptor. Yeah, what are you look? What are you looking to get done? Wipe down the interior, vacuum. Okay. I really, I don't want to put the stuff on the running board because it makes it really slippery. Yes, sir. And the tires, that stuff kind of blows back up on it. So I don't need the tire dressing and okay. stuff. So you just do just a cleanup. It's good. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
I know, definitely understand it when when the wheels pop up a little bit I see it like it's on yeah, the Yeah, yeah, it kind of got yeah. all over so yeah, it really needs just a good washing. Okay. So, all right. So I'll leave the key in there. Are you heading out? No, I'm actually just going to shut it down the oh, battery. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let it run for a bit. And uh um, you don't mind maybe just rinse out the bed a little bit. Yes, be, sir. I think it's got enough three poles and stuff on Water run down, you, okay. You remember how to get a phone here? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. All right. Never forget. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, and uh, I'll be inside when you finish. Let me know. And then uh, next week, if you, I'll, I'll send you an uh, email or text message. I've got a, my wife's car is a uh, 2021 uh, Ford Escape. It's the titanium. Uh, okay. So if, if I can get you, maybe just do a cleanup on hers. On too. hers, okay. Just, yeah, it's the same thing, just kind of wash back, give it. I got uh, you. Clean the windows. Kind of I got you, no like problem. Tire and stuff. Okay. No problem at all. Okay, all right, now I'll send you a message on it with the information on the car. All right, perfect, okay. man. I'll this, be inside this thing looks it. beast, man. This thing looks nice. <laughs> yeah, the battery, of course, I gotta get some minerals. You're gonna know, uh, drive it. I gotta get my uh, sticker on it. I let the sticker run out on it, but I don't drive it. <laughs> Thing is still shining from the last time. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so I'll go ahead and get started. Did you leave the keys in there for me? Yeah, All right, perfect. Thank you, Phil. All right, you guys. So you guys just saw we're here at the first client, and you know, kind of try to get the conversation on camera. Try not to get his face and stuff or his personal. You know what I mean on YouTube, but we're gonna go ahead and detail this Ford Raptor right here. Like he said, he didn't want any tire shine on the wheels. I'm gonna go ahead and add some uh, some of our universal dressing on them, not the actual tire shine, because I do understand. You know, when you put you know tire shine and stuff, and it gets all over the paint. You know, if you guys have any advice or any tips for me, make sure you comment down below on what tire shine that I can use so it's like it's uh dry to the touch or whatever so it's not slinging all over the uh, client's cars so this is going to be a pretty simple detail let me just show y'all before and after shots here so go ahead and show y'all the interior this client is very very clean if i may say so just a look at the interior here just to wipe down he just wants it cleaned and that's what we're here to do he's not willing to come out here in the cold and do it himself so these things are very dirty but we're gonna go ahead and take them out look at that Ooh, i love details like this well it's not good for camera or content but you know it's easy for me to do uh quick for me to do and i can knock it out pretty quickly so we have this raptor look at those paddle shifters right there Come on, man. You guys can't beat that. Look at that. Sheesh. I love these trucks. Back row. Let's go ahead and take these out. Probably doesn't want them dressed either. He's a little older, so we don't want him slipping and falling on anything. Just dirty. Paint dirty. trying to vlog for you guys but you know I, I barely even know what to show you guys because look as you guys can see he does his own stuff i did it let me get a detail spray look mad towels like i said he keeps his cars cleaned does all his work himself but sometimes in life you gotta let the professionals come and take care of it which is what we're doing what we're here for save him time save, save him energy and he doesn't have to be out here in the cold so yeah man i'll catch you guys once i get set up and set up my tripod and stuff like that
All right, y'all, so we just finished the interior detail. I mean, it was simple, it was just the wipe down. The time is currently 9.42, so I'm gonna just go ahead and clean up the interior glass and windows, and then we're gonna just go ahead and wash the outside. No tire shine, just clean up the windows, and add some ceramic or some bead maker on the exterior, just to make it pop and shine a little bit more. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do the interior glass with our glass cleaner here by Sprayway. Found that Sam's Club and then these towels here which are Waffle Weeds towels which I'll link down below or I'll try to link down below for you guys. Uh, make sure y'all check them out both down below in the description box. Let's get into the detail man. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this video. I'm not recording entirely too much because I have more cars to get to today. I have one more. So I just want to make sure that I leave enough room and enough uh, content for that next car. So. Yeah, this was pretty basic, so there's not much to it. Just gonna go ahead and knock this out real quick. Sit back, relax. with this rafter here so we didn't put any tire shine on wheels or on the floorboard or the steps floor uh thing majingi right there so that was per customer request so i'm gonna just go back around re-wipe everything with our ceramic coating uh socket and just kind of just touch up any little spots and stuff like that but i just wanted to record this before i forgot so this is the look at the outside wasn't in that terrible condition to begin with and then I look at the interior just the vacuum wipe down nothing just nothing too crazy you know pretty simple pretty basic detail and then just look at the back these things are like still drying up and stuff they're all dressed and everything so I have my steamer plugged in too because I'm gonna need it for my next client. So I'm gonna just be a little bit ahead. So I'm gonna just go ahead and make sure that's heated up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rewipe everything, but I'm basically done with the detail. So catch you guys on the next car. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this portion of the video. Let's get into the next to the next car.